Hello friends, welcome back to my video series and in this series uh, we are going to learn about CloudBees Jenkins Enterprise. So I found that there are a lot of uh, Jenkins video available on YouTube but uh, I, I found very few on CloudBees Jenkins Enterprise. So this video is going to uh, we are going to learn about uh, the Jenkins Enterprise version from CloudBees. Okay, so let me discuss about what will be my architecture here. So here, uh, if you see, we are going to have different con components of from CloudBees, including the Jenkins Operation Center, the Jenkins Enterprise Master, and we'll have some shared slips and we'll also have some slips inside the uh, enterprise. We'll also have a Jenkins uh, analytics. We'll try to uh, learn about how we can integrate with uh, some LDAP or AD server, Active Directory from Microsoft. And uh, We'll also try to see how we can uh, do a integration, an integration with a single sign-on. And uh, we'll also see how we can uh, do a uh, auto-scaling in a cloud environment or maybe a VMware environment. The horizontal scaling part of the Jenkins Enterprise or the slaves which will have, maybe we'll have some shared slips, how we can do a scaling, that is horizontal scaling of the slips uh, in enterprise server. <clears throat> okay, so that's all about my architecture here. And uh, let's go forward and start using, uh, start creating uh, some of the VMs. And uh, before going and creating, I want to discuss what is my infrastructure here if you see that I have, uh, I have pretty much a uh, 32 gig uh, server here, so 32 gig uh, with eight core processor. Uh, that's pretty much actually to run an enterprise architecture here. So, and what I'm going to do is I have uh, installed a VMware workstation here. And in VMware workstation, I'm going to create multiple VMs uh, one for the Jenkins Enterprise, one for the Jenkins Operation Center from CloudBees, and another one I will have uh, the <coughs> slave, separate slaves. Actually, the best practices uh, tells that we should have separate VMs for the slaves. So uh, we're going to have, uh, so I'm going to create actually three VMs. And uh, in that three VMs, one will be uh, for the Jenkins Enterprise, one will be for the Jenkins Operation Center, one will be, uh, I will be creating and using it as a shared slave. So that will be my architecture for the Jenkins. And we'll see how uh, we can configure those servers as well, and how we can communicate and create an enterprise architecture here. Uh, let's go forward and, and see how we can do that. Thank you.